What is up, y'all, and welcome back to Evening Estes, the series where you check out new and upcoming games, and tonight we're checking out Black Skylands, a game all about airships, which are freaking awesome. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I grew up loving airships. Just the idea of them is super cool to me, you know? It's like, you could be in the sea, but why not be in a ship in the sky? It's so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check this game out for about half an hour. I'll have a link for you below if you wanna check it out for yourself. Other than that, let's get on right into it. So this is actually my first time loading up this game. I've never played it before, but I have seen a trailer or two. And I know the top-down thing kind of irked me, to be honest. Uh, I typically don't like that in a lot of games. I mean, some games it works out super well, but yeah, we're gonna go in and see. I'm not really sure. All right, Mama, Lauren, dear Eva, happy birthday. Please take a seat. Breakfast is almost ready. Mom, Dad's ship is at the pier. I saw it in the spyglass. Daddy's back. He made it. I told you he'd be back in time. You're right, your dad is in the living room, but he has to not be disturbed, so. Daddy, I'm coming. All right. Daddy, I am coming. That is absolutely true. Oh, we got a, what are you, like a robot? Richard the Earner. Oh, <laughs> he's not a robot. Okay, it's that, that's dad. Daddy, you've been away for so long, like 100 years or 200. I missed you so, so much. Ava, didn't mom tell you that I'm really busy? Happy birthday. Oh, too busy for my birthday, it would seem, huh? Where have you been? What'd you find? Did you reach the edge of the sky? Did you see the whale father? Tell me everything. Slow down, you'll find everything out later at the fair. But now I've got a job for you. I left one box on my ship. Be a pet and run and get it. Okay. Hmm, a box. Fine. Admiral Richard commands and Captain Ava obeys. Set sail. Alright, here we freaking go. Okay, so we have to get to Richard's ship with the help of my hook. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's actually not so bad, actually. Uh, I guess I didn't pay too close attention when I was watching the, the trailers. But, you know, things that move like this, they kind of like parallax over each other. It looks pretty nice, actually. Gives the world a little bit of depth. Which is what's sorely lacking in games like this, usually. Okay, so you uh, right-click to shoot your hook. Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Very good indeed. Let's open this up. A mystery box. Awesome. We took it. Did they bring it back? Oh, I just fell. <laughs> oh, no. Am I just dead? Oh. Okay, I didn't realize I could still use my hook while I was holding it. Glad to know I don't die. I mean, I really could have fallen through one of these many holes in this net. Someone's got to repair that. Hopefully it's not me. Okay, Richard, here's your box, bud. Daddy, I'm coming home. Here you go. Not now, Ava. Seriously. Wait, what? The box on the ground? Isn't? Didn't he want it? Did he not say? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Now let's talk. All right, let's see what we get here. Oh, super soaker. Ava, this is a gift for you. Happy birthday. You made me go get my gift, you son of a bitch. Happy birthday, my daughter. Oh, wow. What is it? A pistol? Oh, man. She looks badass. Look at that eye patch. She has like a pauldron, too. A red scarf? Yeah, this is gonna be great. Like a real pirate. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to get. Nobody else in Epsaya has a pistol like that anymore. Yeah. Super soakers are hard to come by, I tell you what. Thank you, Dad. Can we go and play? You can be my boss and like before. Sorry, there's no time. I need to prepare for the fair of achievements. Meanwhile, Ava, you help me. I asked Aaron to get berries for the cake, but your brother's still not back. He probably got to playing with the hunters again. Go see Uncle Kane, he should know. And he can teach you how to use your pistol at the same time. Grandpa Oswald, you came too. Of course, granddaughter. How could I forget it was your birthday? Here's your gift. Amazing. A moth, a living one. She's so sweet. Thank you, Grandpa. A moth? Oh my god, what? Yeah, all the mothballs in your pocket didn't work, bud? Okay, I think you're already old enough to have your own moth. Her name is Luma. Luma, you're so great. You wanna go for a walk? It's a moth, she flies. No need for walking. Alright, we got our pistol. Uh, okay, so pick up an object, approach it, and press E. We've done it. We've absolutely done that already. Do I need something else? Or is this just telling me? Oh, it's like a Nerf gun! <laughs> Look at that! Not bad at all. What are these two arrows? Or these two lines? Oh, it's like, okay, I see. Gotcha. Alright. This is Crash. What have you got there, little miss? A toy pistol? Want me to show you a real one? One that hurts people? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, show me your gun. Crash, you're frightening the girl. Get out of my sight before I get angry. And think about what you're doing. This is Kane. Oh, look at him. He looks badass. He got a pauldron, too. Oh, maybe I get... Oh, so my moth is like his bird, I guess. Maybe he can upgrade to a hawk later. Forget my comrade, Ava. He's a fool. A sick man. Don't waste your bullets on him. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely sh sh dome, him, dome him right in the head. We can John Wick him. Or does your pistol not shoot? I think it does, but I don't know how. I do know how. I just did it. It's cool, though, right? Dad gave it to me, Uncle Kane. Teach me what to do with it. Ah, since when I've been uncle? Mom told me to call you uncle now since you've become the chief hunter. 
Well, if Lauren said so, let's have a look around. A normal pistol? Just aim and pull the trigger smoothly. Try it. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Shoot him in the forehead a punch. They're, you're gonna regret giving this to me. There you go. Wonderful. The walk around and pick up all those darts now. Okay, who's the beautiful bird? You're so clever. You are my pride and my joy. Look, my feather comrades proud of you too. Your falcon's grown so big and graceful. Thanks, Ava. And joking aside, you're a born shooter. Only one eye, but a sharp one, right? Look after it. You don't want to be the known as the world's first blind sniper. <laughs> you know, this year I set up a training camp for young fighters like you near Carpenter's Valley. Oh, I bet your camp's where Aaron flew off to. Your brother's done a runner again. Oh, right. He was pestering me about the camp yesterday. So that's bad news for my boys and girls. Will you save them? Sure. We just need to patch up Daddy's ship. I'll go find Uncle Jim. I have an Uncle Jim as well. How about that? All right. Uncle Jim, I'm on my way. I'm just gonna <laughs> annoy the shit out of all the villagers on my way, though. All right, this is Jim the Engineer. Happy birthday, Ava. But what's your daddy like, eh? Vanishes for nearly a year, gets everyone worried, and then comes back for the fair. Just in the nick of time. This is Elsie. Hey, Ava, what's with the pistol? Seriously, let me have a look. I don't know what Richard's bought back this time, but it looks like his eyes are burning. I get the feeling that Uzinians won't be able to compete with our fair this year. Uncle Jim, maybe you could take me to the hunter's camp. Daddy let me take a ship, though it does need repairs. Of course. Just let me finish work. Come back a bit later. Ava, let me disassemble your pistol. Put it back together, I promise. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Elsie, girl, maybe you should give me the repair kit. I'll fix the ship myself and get flying. What do you say? Are you kidding, Ava? Dad will be furious. For a while, then I'll forget about it. Come on. What's life without adventures? I'll fly there and straight back. No one will even notice. Well, all right. Just don't tell Dad. Here. Oh, my God. We're really doing it. <laughs> okay, sick. That's awesome. We can run with shift. Great. Do a combat roll with spacebar. And we gotta hook our way over here, right? Let's open it up. Use the repair kit. And we added it to the hold. Great. So I guess we get out of here, right? Great. And let's repair. A couple of bangs, not so bad. Did I do it? Okay, I gotta talk to Elsie now. Oh. Let me out of here. Do I gotta fall first? What's happening? There we go. I guess you do kind of have to fall first. Okay, I'll see. All right, I'll fly to look for Aaron at Bovern's Sawmill. Mom said he flew him down there. Hope he's all right. The ship's probably not fueled, so drop by the fuel station on your way. Okay, thanks, girl. I'm gonna fly to the fuel station. To take the helm, approach it and press E. I love nothing more. Oh, <laughs> that's not it. Okay, the helm's right here. Okay, so we have the ship hold capacity. Uh. Cool, we have a ship ammunition in the hold, repair kits in the hold, uh, ship health bar is the green one, ship energy bar is the purple one, and the fuel bar is the tan one. Great. We've done it. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. Wow, I can't believe they're just letting me do this. <laughs> oh, this looks awesome! What? Okay, this is so much better than it, than, than it looked like in the, uh... Oh, my canister! Okay. I go around this way, I think. Or does it matter? Can I dock on this side? No? Okay, let's go around. Okay, we gotta stop here. And we have to get ourselves onto here. Oh! Oh, no! I'm dying. Okay. Hold E to buy a canister. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh my god, why can't I do this? There's no place for me to get on. I'm falling again. For the love of god. Let me do this. Yo, maybe I go around the other way, actually. May <laughs> I guess now that I look at it, maybe this is the back side of it. We should probably be over here. Don't worry, I've done this a million times. All right, here we go. There it is. Okay, now that we're almost dead. <laughs> Let's buy this. Wonderful. You gotta fill the canister. Hold the fill. Yeah, on the right side, there it goes. Perfect. And let's fill up the fuel tank. Oh, our health is all the way back to normal. How about that? Right, let's fill her up. You can place the rest of that in there. Great. Let's talk to Fang. Take the helm. And away we go! 
Ooh, the turbo. Oh, that uses the energy at the bottom, I see. Ooh, okay, we should probably stop. We should probably stop. Ooh, okay, not bad. There it is. What is this? I'm not sure. All right, Fang, what's up? Wow. Man, you look scary as hell. Okay, another young earner who's come to show off her abilities. No, he's been able to beat my record yet. Your obnoxious brother's here too. He tried to pass the test incognito. That little. Got into a box and almost made it to the end of the test. But the kid was too big and he got stuck in the box. We didn't bother to pull him out. <laughs> Once you've done the test, take him back with you on the father ship. The engineers can uh, work out how to get him out of the box. Your test begins. Use all your skills, Ava. You're still not going to beat me. I have a feeling I will beat you. Fang, you edgelord. It'll be no problem at all. Oh. What am I doing exactly? Uh, to reach further, roll off the ground, space, and then use the hook. There we go. Oh, does everyone have these guns? I'm a zero sievert expert. You cannot take me, right? This. <laughs> Let's gather this. Okay, great. Can we roll through these? Looks like it. No problem. Take a reload. Uh, for melee attacks, you press F. They break crates in one hit. Great. Yep. I'm ready for zero siever hardcore. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Great. Oh, here he is. Ava, Ava, I'm here in the box. I almost made it to the end of the test. I was invisible and unstoppable. Oh, true, I did get stuck in this box. Can you take me to Uncle Jim? The head of the engineers who work out how to get me out of here. My legs are going numb. All right, can we harvest Aaron? <laughs> All right, let's carry him. He's in the box. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering if he would hit me or not. Let's drop him. Combat roll. Nice. And he's just dead. <laughs> we absolutely murked him. Okay, we gotta press the switch. Here, let's put him on here real quick. We can carry him? Okay. I wasn't sure if that was gonna leave without me or something. <laughs> just a bridge. That's wonderful. Alright. What's up, Fang? Is that blood? Did you young earner decide to become one of us? Hmm, just paint. How disappointing. Did you find your brother? Shove him in the hold and fly home. It's time for the real professionals to train. Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Come on, you scallywag. In the hold you go. And let's get home. Oh, <laughs> I thought that ship was below us. Oh no, <laughs> our ship is smoking now. I think we've hit one too many things. I do kind of wish you could change the perspective though. It's kind of weird flying this way. Because yeah, I'm, I'm still holding W to go. Alright, good enough. Alright, moving resources. You can move resources between the ship's sky, uh, the sky, the sky ship's hold and a warehouse through the interface and your sky ship is close to a warehouse. Okay. Wonderful. Are we close to a warehouse? Okay, I think we did it. Wonderful. Aaron, did you, how'd you even get in there? Hello, Uncle Jim. People tend to underestimate boxes. As the head of engineers, you must understand that. I just asked Snake. Okay, just imagine how many people you could carry in boxes at once. You'll see, when I grow up, that's how everyone will travel. Haha, <laughs> you're a funny kid, Aaron. Alright, let's get you out of there. We'll grease you with motor oil and you'll pop out like a cork. Close your eyes and mouth. Oh god. We done it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, where we gotta go? Sweetie, you're just in time. I wanna show the heads of the factions my discovery. Or do you wanna walk around more until everyone gets here? Uh, I've walked enough. Let's go. It's showtime, baby. Dad, so what did Uncle Richard bring? I can't wait to have a look. Elsie, stay with me. Enough doing your own thing. Everything's clear. You can begin. At last. 
My dear friends, any discovery requires long searching and sacrifice. But earners are ready for that. We live for tomorrow. The average person will find it difficult to accept what you're about to see. Up till now, you've been living a blissful ignorance. But it's time to say farewell. Ha! Blissful ignorance! It'll be even more blissful to see the miserable faces in the guys from Uznia when we show them Aspia's great new discovery. God, these names are hard to pronounce. I mean, I'm more interested in science than politics. And we now examine the object. How impatient you are. Well then, welcome to the future. Oh, who are you, bud? Where'd you dig up that monstrosity? Is it dangerous? It's a sample of the swarm. That's what I've named the species of animal that lives in the eternal storm. For a long time, those lands were hidden from us. But I and my team were able to penetrate into the storm and discover there is extraordinary ecosystem. Before you is one of the inhabitants. We gave that name Linger. No doubt his appearance frightens you, but this is a peaceful creature. And furthermore, he's under the influence of a tranquilizer. Well, it can't be that peaceful if it has to be on a tranquilizer. Okay, you only get claws like that on a predator. Trust the hunter's instinct. That's super true, actually. Yeah, he has freaking blades for hands. Okay, Elsie, get behind me. I have personally seen how Linger eats the grasses of the Eternal Storm, samples of which I brought with me. He's no carnivore and he's not aggressive. That remains to be seen. I can't wait till the two of us get started on our experiments together. Let me get a closer look at you. Are you crazy? Keep away from it. My gut tells me this creature's dangerous. Come on, Uncle Kane. A funny little thing like that? Someone's about to die. <laughs> yep. Aaron! He's getting stabbed in the cheeks. Die, monster! <laughs> no! He lost an arm. One, seven years later. Okay, I thought that was a one for a second. I don't think, I don't think that's true, though. Seven years. Seven years it is. Oh, we're under attack. We're getting bombarded. Oh, is this his robo arm? Oh no, this is us now. Oh, we've grown up a little bit. No more eye patch. Oh, we're making coffins. Holy shit. I think that's the last coffin today. Are right, we gonna talk to Richard? Oh man, this place has gone to shit. It really has. Hell in a handbasket it has. Yeah, the coffins are ready. Today we lost many people. Parents, friends, children. For seven years, now we've had darkness without end. There's no reason to give up. We continue to fight for our fallen comrades and for the future generations of Aspia. The sky is always hungry. 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 Oh, that's badass, actually. Damn! <laughs> Title screen! <laughs> Sick. <laughs> that was great. How cinematic. I'm becoming a master of funeral addresses. I'm so tired of losing people. As if we don't have enough trouble from the swarm, now Kane's Falcons have gone crazy. Okay, I guess the swarm has come to uh, exact vengeance on us, it would seem. Things will get better soon. I think you better rest. Today was a long day. Probably. Hey, Kane's Falcons are flying this way. They want you to finish what they started. Quick, hide the children and go and uh, blah, 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 hold arms. Okay, don't panic. <laughs> I won't let the Falcons do anything. Oh, snap. Here they come. This is like Final Fantasy shit. <laughs> Kane the Falcon? Wait, did he turn? Is he evil now? Please accept my condolences. I'm sorry that there was a, a misunderstanding between Kane's Falcons and the Earners. A misunderstanding? Your militia fired on the fathership of the Howitzer you swore you'd use against the Swarm. People died. That's why I flew here. I want to apologize. I didn't want those deaths any more than you did, Richard. I'm a keeper of order, not a killer. We just sent a dozen coffins on their final journey. What are you after that, if not a killer? I, unfortunately, sometimes my lieutenants let me down. There are times when they don't follow orders. But I swear to the residents of Aspia that I won't allow any more indiscipline. Lieutenant Mort, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh my god, look at this guy. <laughs> he looks like he's from Borderlands. Mort must say sorry for playing with the earner ship. 
Mort promises he won't do it again. He talks like it, too. Okay, good boy, Mort. <laughs> to make sure you don't forget your promise, three dozen lashes await you back at Kane's Sport. <laughs> oh, no, please, no. Take him away. Now let's talk about you, Richard. I know about your plans to go to the Eternal Storm, and I'm here to prevent you. Stop. Are you saying we should wait until these monsters swallow us up? Not me. And the storm will find something to use against the swarm. I'll have to go there as soon as possible. You don't change, Erner. You spit on all of us and act like a hero. But you're just making it hard for people like me to defend Aspia. Remember, Richard, I'm following your every move. And I'll destroy the fellowship before I let you run away. My family always thought of you as one of our own. And now that's how you thank us. You've taken me and my children hostage. Your children are safe. I give my word as a falcon. I wish no harm on Ava or Aaron. I'm just preventing you from making mistakes. Mistakes? I'll be a mistake for all of us to back into a corner like pathetic animals and devour each other while we wait for death. So, you think I'm pathetic? Well then. Hey, what a lovely surprise! I didn't expect you so early in the morning. Oh, she's losing it. Look how loopy she looks. Now you're here. Will you help me prepare for Ava's birthday? I can't believe my little girl- <laughs> my little girl's already 11. How time flies. Lauren, snap out of it. Your daughter's 18 now. Oh yeah, she, she actually has lost the plot here. I sent Ava to look for Aaron. That rascal just slipped through the clouds again. Please, Kane, help Ava if she comes to you, and fly here more often. It's always a pleasure to have a cup of tea with you. I certainly will, Miss Mills. I'd be delighted. Richard, I hope we've understood one another. Uh, I'm leaving Lieutenant Crash here with you, just in case you happen to forget what I've said. Oh, God. We're under, like, military lockdown right now. Lauren refuses to see Kane's wickedness. Ava, something's broken in your mother, and it just won't go back in place. But it's not forever. So many years have passed already. Time alone is enough to heal some wounds, my daughter. Oh, Ava, I almost forgot. Grandpa Oswald was looking for you. The old man is still hoping to teach somebody from the family how to grow a crop. Oh, so there's some farming in this game, too. Sick. Grandpa, Dad said you wanted to see me. Oh, my granddaughter, that I did. Your father was absolutely useless on the farm. He was ran away from home when it was the sowing time. That's the earner he is. We must think not only of the dead. The living people need feeding. We are earners, Ava. Don't forget that. I'm leaving. The earners need me at the moth nest. It's hard for everyone now. What did we do to deserve this? I understand, Grandpa. I think I'll manage. I used to like picking cabbage when I was small. I'll leave you my books on cultivation. And you'll quickly learn everything from them. And now it's time I left. I hope to see you again soon. Great, well I think that's where we're gonna go and call it for right now. I actually might do another episode of this, because we didn't get too far, unfortunately. Uh, but it seems like there's a lot of really cool things going on, and the story seems pretty sweet as well. But yeah, I think that's where we're gonna call it for today. I think I'm gonna do another episode of this. Uh, actually, you know what? I am. I definitely am gonna do another episode of it. So, make sure you stay tuned for that. And other than that, I wanna thank all my beautiful patrons. Look at these lovely people. Oh, handsome as hell. And handsome as ever. Anyway, <laughs> okay. That's it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.